Hey everyone, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I wanted to make a really important video and talk to you guys about something that I didn't want any distractions, which is why it's just me and you here, no dogs. Uh, I gotta talk to you about this because it's happening a lot and it's getting really, really bad. And it just, um, it's really hurting people and it's really hurting our organization. And um, yeah, I'll just get right into it. I just heard a story I had to make a video I had to make a private video uh, I, I didn't want I didn't think it would be a good idea to get on the phone with this person but I had to make a private video to tell someone that they were being scammed and it was it's, it was pretty bad this person's friends and family reached out to us multiple times uh, and what sucks even more this isn't the first time this has happened it's happened a handful of times it's probably happening right now and uh, we don't even know about it it definitely is Basically, due to AI, um, these scammers are taking advantage of AI and taking advantage of our beautiful community and scamming people. And this story in particular, which you're about to hear, is, is, is really messed up. This, this woman thought that she formed a relationship with me online. Um, she, she was leaving her friends and family uh, behind selling all of her stuff she was completely convinced she was in a relationship with me and she had been planning to for me to pick her up at the airport in Portland um, had it all had her flights booked she put her house on the market and took out her savings um, it makes me super uncomfortable to share this story it, it's really disturbing uh, what really sucks, what sucks the most is this person has, had seen my videos, had seen my videos of me warning people that I would never reach out to you and that I would never ask you for money. And I don't really understand why or how we're still here. Um, the more people that give these scammers money and believe their lies, uh, not only hurts these innocent people, it supports these scammers so they'll continue to do it and continue to ask their friends and employ more scammers and it completely takes away I mean I can't tell you how many emails we have gotten that a they're not willing to donate to us anymore because they're too afraid it's a scam even though the only place to donate which I've said so many times the only place to donate is on our website theasherhouse.com but not only that you know there's a handful of people that are in denial that don't think it was a scam and think that you know i just once once we got the money i ended up not speaking to them it just it sucks it's hurtful i really have a hard time believing that human beings are that low and these scammers i just want you to know they have no moral for human life, for any life whatsoever. They do not, the, scamming people, scamming the Asher House community is not their only scamming. They, these people are involved in the worst of the worst things imaginable. They have no regard for human life or animals or anything whatsoever. I, I've, I've, I've done my best. Um, it almost makes me want to, and I'm not going to, you know, I'm just venting when I say, it almost makes me not to, to not want to do this anymore. And the reason is because like I do this to help people and I do this to make people happy and make people laugh and rescue animals and to know that people are getting scammed out of thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars and it just makes me not want to do it. And of course I'm going to continue to do it because I think I do a pretty good job of warning people that I would never reach out to anyone. I would never ever send anyone a message, you know, saying I like your profile and we should be friends. And I just wanna add, you know, you should never ever, no matter who it is, anyone who who you don't know personally and you don't know for sure, you know, on the phone, friends, direct friends and family, anyone who reaches out to you and, and asks you for money, I mean, we, like, to me, it almost sounds ridiculous that people fall for this. I mean, to, to get catfished, to get, to form relationships online. And I'm not trying to make you feel stupid. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm trying to talk to you as a friend. Like maybe some of you, you know, don't have people in your life to, to help, help you think things through. But whether it be someone you know, and especially someone you don't know, you should never have to buy friendship. You should never have to buy love. You should never have to give someone money to convince them that you're worthy or that you appreciate them. 
That should never be the case. That should be your first sign. If anyone ever tries to manipulate you uh, by asking you for money, and if you love me, you'll donate, or if you love me, you'll do this. It's just a, it's, it's just a terrible thing, a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. And it's, 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 it's not only hurting people, it's really hurting our nonprofit as well as other nonprofits. Um, and I've said it so many times, you know, I don't know how many times I could say it. the only place to donate is theasherhouse.com. And I would never, ever, ever reach out to anyone personally to build a friendship of any kind, platonic or, or a loving relationship. You know, I, 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 it, it just wouldn't happen. And um, I really wish more people were careful. Um, and I really wish it did not affect people from donating to our organization that I put my blood, sweat, and tears in literally every day of my life in order to make happen. And then out of nowhere, these scammers who have no regard for human life come in and, and, and take that away from us. So once again, you know, once again, um, the only only account across all of my platforms I cannot be any more clear on Instagram on Facebook on YouTube and on TikTok, all of it is just the Asher house not the Asher house official not the Asher house 827779 just the Asher house just the Asher house we have a private patreon community on patreon and you can go to Asher house wellness Dot com to join our patreon community um, and we have Asher house wellness for our products and stuff like that but for donations specifically it's just the asherhouse.com and again don't let anyone you should never ever ever prove your worth on any level but using monetary needs that is a relationship that you should exit immediately immediately you are so much better than that you should never have to prove your worth with money Okay, um, our organization relies on your donations, as well as my personal donations that I give into it. And it really, really breaks my heart that uh, terrible people that take advantage of people are also taking money out of us from that away from us, excuse me. So um, and, and this isn't the first time, you know, I've had to make a, I've had to make uh, 10 to 20 private videos to let people know that I'm not talking to them and that I have no idea who they are. And these people are getting ready to leave their homes, you know, thinking that they're moving to Oregon and moving in with me to have the sanctuary. I mean, it's really, really crazy. It's really messed up. And the scariest thing about that, the scariest thing about what I'm telling you right now is that they've seen my videos where I warn people that this is my only account and I'm not speaking to them and they're in denial and they still think that there was this exception. So, you know, please, please be smart. And I would, I hate to say be careful because you, you shouldn't have to be careful. If, if someone's messaging you, asking you for money or telling you they want to be friends with you out of nowhere, that's a huge red flag. Like that's if, like out of nowhere, you just get a message. I want to be friends with you. This person knows nothing about you. This person doesn't know you. Why would they want to be friends with you? It, it's crazy to think, right? Like it's, it's crazy. So use social media to watch funny videos and, and get inspired and, and see these beautiful stories about these animals being rescued. Don't, don't, don't use social media to, to build relationships with these random people that are probably really, really bad for you and really toxic. Like, come on, man. And I say this with love, you know, maybe you don't have anyone in your life to remind you that you're worthy of, of real relationships and you're, you're worthy of real friendships and, and real love. But, this is not this is something that you really you really need to keep in mind when when you're when you get these messages and stuff like that. I'll give you one more example. You know, I was reading a comment. Um, I was reading one of the comments and someone said, Lee, you would have been so proud of me. Someone messaged me. And after a few minutes of talking to them, I knew it wasn't you. So I blocked them. I, I, I thought to myself, why would it take you any time at all to know it wasn't me? Why would it take you a few minutes? Right? It should, as soon as you got that message, you should know it's fake and you should block and report that account. So please share this, uh, uh, Facebook, all these, all these social media accounts, they, they don't do anything to stop these fake accounts. It is completely up to us. It is completely up to us. Please share this.
please share this with the people that you know. Um, please share this on your page. And uh, I have even more stories that make me so sick that I, that I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to share with you. So uh, it really sucks. And if you do want to donate to help us, uh, the only place to do that is on theasherhouse.com. And it really means a lot to us. All right. Thank you very much. I love you. And um, yeah, thank you.